Okay, good afternoon, everybody. In this uh, final session on Kazuo Ishiguro's novel, An Artist of the Floating World. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss two, two important aspects. Uh, one is uh, reading important passages from the novel. And second, we want to very briefly discuss some of the important themes which uh, Kazuo Ishiguro is uh, trying to discuss through this uh, novel. So first reading, uh, reading part, which obviously as yesterday we discussed about uh, uh, unreliable narrator, narrative strategies that all will get supported. All those arguments also will get supported uh, 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 in our reading also. So when we start reading the novel, uh, very beginning, uh, in the very first beginning part, uh, let me share the e-text so we all can read together. Yeah, so I hope you are seeing the screen that I am sharing. Yeah, uh, we know that the novel is uh, divided in in four parts. Yeah, novel is divided in four parts. Uh, the first part and this, the 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 division of the parts is with uh, with uh, month and year. It, it, it doesn't have any title or chapter, chapter one, two, not in that way, but no, no titles are given, but uh, the year. So first is October 1948. Second one is uh, April 1949, April 1949. Third is November 1949. Third part is November 1949. And final part is June, June 1950. I repeat again the four parts in which the narration is divided. Uh, October 1948, it begins with that. Second, April 1949. Third, November 1949. And last, June 1950. Yeah. So uh, it is uh, post war, Second World War time. Yeah. And obviously, we know the, uh, the historical aspect that we have discussed yesterday that Japan was completely destroyed in Second World War. The, the havoc of atomic bomb, which dropped on by America on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which brought Japan, a very, very strongly imperialist country who wanted to have war with all the neighboring countries, was brought down to knees and they have to surrender. They have to surrender on the terms of America and the allied nations. And then uh, there is a new beginning of a new chapter for Japan. Uh, and that was Americanization of Japan, Westernization of Japan. And Japan, as we know today, is more of a Westernized, Americanized uh, nation. Very wealthy, obviously, economically very powerful. We also know that in electronics, uh, in electronics, Japan has uh, a, a huge name. Uh, Brands like Sony and other things come from Japan and very reliable brands uh, in electronics also we see uh, in Japan uh, from there. So that is uh, the historical dynamics. But this is 48 to 50. The first part, uh, the first part, it begins in this way, October 1948. Now, if you see first lines uh, there. So if on a sunny day you climb, now see this, the use of the word you, See the use of the word you and repeatedly you come. Now, when you have a digital text, it becomes very interesting to see that how writer is making this reference of you. And I, I, I try to see control F and try to find that how many times I do find you in the novel. And when I look at it, I find it is more than 1000 times, 1100 and I think 18 times uh, this, this word you is used. I think you are able to see on the screen or oh, no the control f feature you are not able to see it is rather at the top huh, there okay? so I, I searched you and i found the result in this that it is more around 1100 times the word you is used huh, in this now who is this you why this reference you there is a first person narration that we know huh? uh, it is uh, the narrator is masuji huh? Masuji on, I think yesterday I wrote Masujo, huh? Masujo while I was writing the spelling. This is Masuji, yeah? Masuji Ono. So I have corrected that in the in the description of the YouTube video. Huh? Masuji is the narrator. Huh? So I is Masuji. But who is this you? Huh? Whom is he addressing? Huh? This you. Now you is a reader. Huh? Anybody who is reading huh? this novel, huh? this story, 
this memory, eh, this memory of Masuji, he is just telling us a kind of a memory narrative, and we all become you in this uh, uh, context there. So uh, 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 Ono, uh, Masuji Ono addresses his recollections, memory eh, to an unspecified other person, unspecified. This you to whom he tells his story and whom he imagines will be, he, he thinks he will be sympathetic to him. Eh? That is his tone. Eh? The you is someone who may or may not be new to the city or to whom Ono explains the history and geography of the city like a like a friendly guide like a friendly guide he's trying to explain those things the tone the tone masuji ono uses to address this uh, listener or a reader we can say a reader or a listener suggest how he wants to be seen or how he wants to see himself as a knowledgeable well killed friendly and wise teacher so that is very interesting to see about the tone uh, that he is utilizing. But in, in the same way, we find that uh, uh, there might be something problematic uh, in, in the life of uh, uh, Masuji Ono. And so he wanted uh, that I, I must be seen in a sympathetic way. Uh, uh, let uh, Please have a kind way of looking at me. That is what he wants. Uh, so this tone in the narration with the you is this tone that he want the reader, listener, to be sympathetic towards him. And so he might have done something wrong, which is not telling to us uh, till the story moves on in the la later parts, uh, which we have discussed yesterday as, as a plot summary. And we find that his nationalistic paintings uh, and not only that, his betrayal, uh, his betrayal of his student, uh, his betrayal of his student, uh, Kurodo, also plays a very vital role in this. Uh, he, he started working uh, for government uh, uh, on a committee of unpatriotic activities. So he started reporting to the committee of unpatriotic activities where he reported his one of the favorite students also. Uh, Kurodo also was reported by him in a similar way. So these are some of the betrayals that he has done. He has done a lot of betrayals. He has done a lot of Sir, unmute your mic. Okay, am I audible? Yes. Yes, Are you sir. Able to? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is some problem with um, this uh, laptop LAN internet connection here in the department. So uh, uh, I hope my voice will reach. But there is a very low network, even in the mobile in the office. But are you getting the voice? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So uh, we are talking about you, uh, the you uh, in the in the uh, the narrator uh, who, uh, who 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 Masuji Ono thinks that he should be sympathetic. So he he wants the, this uh, listener uh, to to look at his story uh, and consider him as he was a very wise teacher. He was a very knowledgeable artist. He knew about the world. Uh, 
that all obviously that, that is not the true fact that is not the true fact about masuji ono or about his teaching or about his vision as an artist his vision as an artist also is equally problematic here um, so uh, that that leads to the idea about his unreliable uh, uh, his unreliability uh, he becomes uh, a, a typical unreliable narrator so when you think of unreliable narrator uh, obviously you uh, also look at uh, the point that uh, uh, who gave this term uh, so in 1961 uh, in 1961 in the book titled the rhetoric of fiction the rhetoric of fiction Wayne C. Booth, Wayne W. A. Y. N. E. Wayne C. C. Dot Booth, B. W. O. T. H. He referred to this term. He he first time coined this term, unreliable narrator, where the first person narration is there, but it is very difficult to believe believe into what is told to uh, uh, us. Uh, yeah. so uh, among uh, different way symbol signals of unreliable narrator uh, uh, various signals of uh, unreliable narrators we find that there is intratextual signs such as the narrator contradicting himself having gaps in memory or lying to other characters and this is what becomes very significant of masuji ono also so he is uh, contradicting himself about something There, there there are gaps in his memory gaps for example he is not telling us why he left his home it is told that the father was not happy uh, uh, for uh, his paintings but uh, we are never told that why what happened later on uh, why he left his home that is uh, never told to 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 us and uh, uh, similar way many many important events of his life they they remain hidden uh, from us so gaps in memory uh he also seems to lie to other characters to some extent uh, where sometimes he has to face uh, uh, his own lies also uh, so that that are becoming interesting part of this unreliable narrator but because he is unreliable he wants this you uh, this listener uh, to to uh, to be with his own uh, side also okay so that is at the beginning part you we see there and then if we move on to read some other important part in the narrative uh uh let me come down to here it is page number 122 and uh, if i find it in the text also uh, okay uh, i think i won't be able to share the screen from mobile phone so by the time i get internet in my pc i will read from this and if i get it from that then we'll come back to that uh, okay so uh, uh, page 122 this is april 1949 huh? it is part april 1949 and in this uh, part in this part i am reading this episode now what is this episode what is the context here <coughs> the context is that uh, there is a ceremony of miai going on miai m i a i ceremony of miai and uh, what is this ceremony of miai miai means uh, a kind of an engagement ceremony uh, engagement ceremony uh, japanese miai uh, some some kind of a gathering of both the families uh, both the families of bride and bridegroom uh, they they uh, come together and they talk they have a uh, they have a very elaborate dinner party uh, dinner party so uh, a good hotel is hired and they all go for a dinner and this is norikas uh, this is norikas uh, a miai uh, a kind of a pre marriage ceremony uh, pre marriage ceremony uh, going on uh, with uh, saito family uh, saito family and uh, this uh, ono family they are there and then when they are having a dining table uh, they on the dining they all are talking other thing and suddenly suddenly at this point see masuji ono uh, who is uh, who is facing a kind of a reality Uh, he already has come to know that earlier when with miyake family uh, when with miyake family the talk about the marriage of norika were going on uh, uh, it, it fell apart and why it fell apart because uh, because there is one scene uh, we are told where jiro miyake uh, who was supposed to be his son in law jiro miyake uh, who was supposed to be his son in law 
uh, he is uh, he is addressing to uh, uh, master ji ono uh, and he tells that uh, uh, he refers to the manager uh, the man president of his company uh, who committed suicide uh, president of the committee uh, of his company uh, uh, who committed suicide now that refers to the idea that jiro miyake thinks that all these old people who were supporting war and who are responsible for the tragedy of japan who japan has to surrender and so many young people died for all these things uh, he considers this old people then if they commit suicide it is the best way to do and that is what he thinks and that means that means that the same way jiro is looking towards Masuji Ono also, Masuji Ono also, and maybe because of that, Masuji Ono would have thought, would have thought. We are not told about it. Would have thought that Jiro Miyake is not a, a, a suitable person for Norika. Maybe, or maybe Jiro Miyake might have thought that. Well, I don't want to marry a daughter from a family whose father supported imperialism, militarism, nationalism. Maybe. that reason also so that was in the back of the mind set setsuko huh? another daughter who is a married daughter whose husband suichi also thinks like jiro huh? suichi so uh, uh, misajo um, sorry masuji masuji is not on good terms with suichi emna jamai sathe pan emne bo sara terms nathi karan ke suichi pan ej rite juve che this old people huh? who were supporting kind of nationalism and other thing they are in a way hated by this young generation uh, because they think that uh, it is this people who are responsible uh, for uh, the war mongering and the death of young people a uh, lot many young people so uh, setsuko setsuko keeps on warning uh, uh, father that you have to be very careful uh, you have to be very careful because maybe because of you again norika's marriage may fall apart may, may fall so when the mia is happening everybody is worried tense uh, masuji is very tense at that moment also so in that that situation uh here he says uh that uh, you might have you might have known mr kurado uh, kurodo uh, he says and then uh, uh, this uh, mr dr saito uh, who is uh, mitsuo saito dr saito who is a university art teacher uh and mr kurado also is now a teacher so they know each other they they are working uh, in a in a nearby institute so the reference came and says that kurado so as soon as the name of kurado came masuji masuji is again worried because he knew that uh, kurado once a favorite student but he betrayed him he was captured by police because he reported his unpatriotic activities and so that that may uh, worry uh, him that kurado might have told something wrong about masuji so he says here i read from this paragraph here that there are some mr saito uh, sorry mrs saito uh, uh, i i said perhaps a little loudly uh, uh, who believe uh, my career to have been a negative influence uh, uh, negative an influence now best erased and forgotten erased and forgotten uh, i am not aware of this this view point mr kurado i would think in one who would hold it Uh, this he refers to that okay no worry okay okay so he refers to that uh, and then uh, suddenly he says that indeed and as for myself i am now quite prepared to accept the validity of such an opinion he think that opinion given by kurodo about him would be very bad and so he starts looking at in that way i am sure you are being unfair to yourself mr ono taro saito begin to say but i quietly went on taro taro who was the who was to marry norika he says that it seems you are very strict on you it seems that you are very strict on you and you are a very harsh judge of yourself but he says but he says i quickly went on he said that and this is very important paragraph there are some who would say it is people like myself who are responsible for the terrible things that happened to this nation of ours there are some who would say it is people like myself 
who are responsible for the terrible things that happened to this nation of ours as far as i am concerned i freely admit i made many mistakes she is agreeing with that I, i i freely admit that i made many mistakes i accept that much of what i did was ultimately harmful to our nation was harmful to our nation that mine was part of an influence that resulted in untold suffering for our people i admit this you see dr saito i admit this quite readily so he is regretting here and and this why because daughter's marriage that daughter's marriage should not fall out because of this he is ready to say that well if uh, if if uh, i am a kind of a generation a nationalistic people for because of whom nation suffered young people suffered then i admit that those were my mistakes uh, there uh then he says uh, dr saito leaned forward and a, a puzzled uh, expression on his face forgive me mr ono he said you are saying you are unhappy about the work you did with your paintings he say now see this 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 response of uh, dr saito also is very surprising that uh, how he reacts to this and then he says uh, uh, masuji says my paintings my teachings as you see dr saito i admit this quite readily all i can say is that at the time i acted in good faith i believed in all sincerity i was achieving good for my fellow countrymen but as you know but as you see i am not now afraid to admit i was mistaken so whether my paintings my teachings or whatever influence i have i admit that it was my my mistake that is what he very openly says this so that is this is a very important scene here in this narrative here Uh, a, a few pages later uh, page number 154 i am coming down to see another incident another scene here and this is about uh, yukio naguchi huh? yukio naguchi uh, uh, yukio naguchi huh, was a singer huh? was a singer whose songs influenced many people and then he committed suicide he committed suicide afterwards yeah? uh so uh, this is this in this scene the talk is between uh, masuji and daughter's son that is setsuko's son ichiro uh, masu masuji and uh, 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 talk with ichiro uh, setsuko's son uh, so uh, this is uh, the conversation oji uh, uh, ichiro ichiro calls uh, his nana uh, ichiro and a nana sathe એના મમ્મી ના પપ્પા સાથે એમને એ ઓજી કહીને બોલાવે છે ઓજી મે બી ઇટ ઇઝ અ રેલેવન્ટ ટુ દાદા ઓર ઓર નાના ઇન જેપેનીઝ લેંગ્વેજ ઓજી વાય ડીડ મિસ્ટર નાગુચી કિલ હિમસેલ્ફ સ્ટ્રેટ અવે લિટલ બોય ઇઝ આસ્કિંગ ધેટ વાય ડીડ મિસ્ટર નાગુચી કિલ હિમસેલ્ફ વાય હી કમિટેડ સ્યુસાઇડ વેલ હી આન્સર્સ ધેટ્સ uh that's hard to say for sure ichiro i never knew mr naguchi personally very difficult for me to say tries to avoid to give answer ichiro huh, says but was he a bad bad man kharab manas hato a papi hato criminal hato was a bad man that he has to commit suicide and then a long answer a long elaborate answer from masuji no he wasn't a bad man he was just someone who worked very hard doing what he thought was for the best now see earlier he said i don't know i don't know him and now he start talking a lot about him that is unreliable narrator and then he says he did best what he can but you see ichiro when the war ended things were very different the songs of naguchi composed had uh, become very famous not just in this city but all over japan they were sung on the radio and in bars and the likes of your uncle kenji that is his son masuji's son kenji 
Kenji sang those songs when they were marching or before a battle. And after the war, Mr. Naguchi thought his songs had been, well, a sort of a mistake. So all these people who, who were responsible for war because of nationalism, now they all think that, well, they all were mistaken because what happened to Japan, this Hiroshima, Nagasaki, atomic bombs, surrender of Japan, lots of killing, uh, destruction everywhere. They all started feeling that we all supported war once upon a time. Now, now they think that it was perhaps a mistake on their, uh, their part. He thought of all the people who had been killed, all the little boys uh, uh, your age, Ichiro, uh, who, who no longer had parents. He thought of all these things and he thought perhaps his songs were a mistake. And he felt he should apologize to everyone who was left, to little boys who no longer had parents, and to parents who had lost little boys like you. To all these people, he wanted to say sorry. I think that's why he killed himself. Mr. Naguchi wasn't a bad man at all. Ichiro, he was brave to admit the mistakes he had made. He was very brave and honorable. So those people who commit, uh, who, who commit some mistake and they accept and they admit that we have committed, they are brave and honorable people. Now, why, why Masuji defends the singer uh, Yukio Naguchi? Because he also is of similar kind. He also wants a kind of uh, pardoning, forgiving from the next generation of uh, the people who belong, uh, who, who are supposed to be the, the leaders in Japan, that they remember us in a better way. So that is where this Yukio Nag Naguchi's scene, uh, little boy is asking, was he a bad person or not? Uh, I skip a few lines, a few, few more pages and come to another scene. And this is a very interesting and a very important scene. This comes on page 168 and 169. Here it comes. And uh, a very important uh, uh, scene because this scene is about, uh, let me see if I can share uh, one picture from here. Uh, if I can, okay, let me. Okay, one picture I am sharing. Are you able to see that picture? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. This is uh, one very interesting painting which is discussed at, at length in the, in the novel. Uh, at length in the novel. Uh, th this, this painting, this picture is taken from one film which is uh, made on this novel. But the film is not available. Uh, it is not available online. So I just got this from the trailer, uh, from the trailer and the website from where they have put this particular painting like right? this. Uh, now, see this scene. Uh, uh, this is the, the, the scene uh, when uh, he is, uh, that is Masuji, uh, is being trained as a painter, as an artist rather than painter. Uh, and there he is with uh, his teacher, that is Seiji Muriyama. Uh, Seiji Muriyama he is with him, uh, 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 who is also known as Morisan. And there is working uh, as a student. Uh, he used to have, Seiji Muriyama used to have one favorite student earlier, but when he rebelled against him, he left and uh, 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 Masuji became his favorite uh, student. Uh, while he was working there, he was hiding some of his paintings. Masuji was hiding some of his paintings. And suddenly one day, one of his friends uh, found this painting. And this painting was about uh, three boys, uh, three poor boys. You see the boys here, but they are not very poor now. And then in behind, you see now a Japanese flag and a samurai sword you are seeing here. But earlier in this painting, it was not samurai sword or it was not the flag, but it was poverty. There was the description of poverty. And in the top corner, we are not able to see very clearly in the top corner, but in the top corner, uh, 
there are three people sitting in a bar huh? three people sitting in the bar huh? and they are the politicians they are the the politicians so there were political leaders there were, there was poverty instead of flag and three poor children uh, in this bottom corner we see some symbols of poor children uh, there it was uh, given uh, there so this was this painting and then he changed this painting changed painting about poor people he drew earlier and then he changed this painting and he made uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, painting which deals with war idea uh, uh, this. so th this discussion in, th in this page is about uh, about uh, this uh, 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 things there okay so i'm reading some part of this when his painting was identified uh, there earlier with poverty the the title of the painting was complacency complacency was the the title of the painting with poor people but when this painting changed into call for a war it was the title was changed to eyes to the horizon eyes to the horizon that was the new name he has given to this painting this painting symbolically becomes very significant because it, it refers to the change and that is happening in masuji as an artist he is supposed to draw the floating world the pleasure seeking people instead of that he started drawing the poor people and from poor people he started drawing war uh, war mongering and a call for the war also so he refers to this when i describe this early uh, and no doubt unsophisticated work certain of its features may perhaps strike you as familiar for it is possible you are acquainted with my painting eyes to the horizon so he says you એટલે એમ કે છે કે તમને મારા નામ વિશે ખબર છે તમને ખબર છે કે હું મહાન પેઇન્ટર છું એટલે તમે મારું પેઇન્ટિંગ પણ જોયું જ હશે એના ઉપર બહુ ચર્ચાઓ થઈ છે બહુ વાતો થઈ છે એટલે તમે મારું પેઇન્ટિંગ પણ જોયું હશે આજે આજે સ્પીકર તરીકે પોતાને એક એક ઊંચી જગ્યા ઉપર મૂકે છે કે હું બહુ મહાન આઈ એમ અ વેરી ફેમસ painter and uh, and so uh, you might be aware about my paintings also this positioning also is very interesting you might have you uh, is the reader uh, to whom he is addressing uh, for it is possible you you are acquainted with my paintings you eyes to the horizon which uh, as a uh, as a paint in the 30s achieved a certain fame and influence throughout this city eyes to the horizon was indeed reworking of complacency do which such differences as might be expected given the passage of years between the two the late painting you may recall also employed two contrasting images merging into one another bound by the coastline of japan and upper image was again that of three well dressed men we are not able to see very clearly in this image eh? three well dressed men but if i make make it little bit enlarged i think we can uh, see uh, uh, there is a bar and there is one person there another person on this side and three people uh, if you can uh, try enlarging the picture are you able or it is not getting enlarged on your screen are you seeing if i am enlarging it or you are seeing a simple picture yes can anybody answer so i can get to know no no sir we see the we see the enlarged picture you are seeing the enlarged picture no okay yeah fine okay, so is it three people sitting there and this time they were nervous expressions looking to each other for initial and these faces i need not remind you resembles those of three prominent politicians for the lower uh, more dominant image the three poverty stricken children uh, three poverty stricken uh, children we see three faces here uh, uh stricken uh, 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 had become uh, this poverty stricken children had become uh stern faced soldiers two of them held bayonet rifles yeah, bayonet there is a rifle in the hand if you see here there is a rifle in the hand of uh, uh, the kid there uh flanking an officer who held out his sword uh, 
Uh, there is one officer who has got a sword in the hand. Sword. Uh, pointing the way forward west uh, towards Asia. Uh, calling for uh, the war uh, on Asia. Behind them, there was no longer a backdrop of poverty. Uh, there was a backdrop of poverty earlier in complacency. Now, here it is. Simply the military flag. Uh, flag of the rising sun, that is the flag of Japan, rising sun. The word complacency down the right hand margin had been replaced. Uh, this is uh, the Japanese language where in red letter the title of the painting is written, is replaced by eyes to the horizon. And on the left hand side, the message, uh, the message on the left hand side, it says, no time for cowardly talking, no time for cowardly talking japan must go forward japan must go uh, forward so that is uh, the, the message that uh, it, it tends to give uh, here uh, so uh, this is that the painting uh, where he refers and this is so this was as a painter his call to the people that japan must go forward we should be ready to fight and now he is regretting for such a painting uh, such nationalistic paintings where he invited everybody for war, he is now regretting for that. He says that the sentiments of this painting are outdated now. He said, these are my mistakes. These were my mistakes that he has committed. He says that. Uh, very soon after this, very soon after this, there is a very interesting reference to uh, this the theme of art and artist that come. That is page 171 and 72. So he said that before converting this painting into a war picture, it was a picture about the poor people. Now that also was not he was supposed to do. He was supposed to paint floating, floating world, the, the, the pleasure-seeking world. Floating means ukiyo, uh, ukiyo, pleasure-seeking world only. That is what his teacher Seiji Muriyama wanted him to do. But he, why he started drawing poor picture? Because because Chizu Matsuda, Matsuda, Chizu Matsuda was a nationalist person who told him to visit poor area in Japan. So they visited, and then, then he is talking. Uh, there is this conversation between uh, uh, Matsuda, Matsuda Chizu, Matsuda, and uh, 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 Masuji, and Masuji. Uh, Chizu Matsuda is the one who, who who took him from poverty to nationalism, from poverty to nationalism. That is the normal process of all fascist government, fascist government, totalitarian government. They first talk about the poor and from there they start moving towards nationalism also. So he says that there is a, uh, uh, there is a certain kind of artist these days, he went on, whose greatest talent lies in hiding away from the real world. Hiding away from the real world. So they remain into the floating world. Hiding away, floating world. Unfortunately, such artists appear to be in dominance at present. And you, Ono, you, that is what Matsuda says, you, Ono, have come under the sway of one of such artists, that is Seiji Muriyama or Mori-san. Don't look so angry. It's true. Your knowledge of the world is like a child's. Your knowledge of the world is like a child's knowledge. I doubt, for instance, if you could even tell me who Karl Marx was. Karl Marx That you don't know. So uh, he, he, he talks uh, this all. And then I say that. Your eyes are indeed far from open. Oh no. You are blind. You are blind, he says. If you believe a little good-hearted charity can help the poor of the country, the truth is Japan is headed for crisis. We are in the hands of greedy businessmen and weak politicians. Such people will see to it poverty grows every day. Unless that is we, the emerging generation, take action. But I am no political agitator. Oh no. My concern is with art and with artists like you. Talented young artists, not yet irreversibly blinkered by that enclosed little world you all inhabit, that is Ukiyo uh, world. The, uh, the Okada Singem exists to help the likes of you. Open your eyes. He says we have an organization. 
the organization is known as Okada Singen. Eh? Open your eyes and produce work of genuine value for these difficult times. Eh? This is how he is motivated by Matsuda to talk about poverty first and then to talk about uh, nationalism uh, there. So that is this uh, reference here. And this refers uh, to the idea, this paragraph, this book. Obviously, very clearly he says that our emperor, uh, our emperor is our rightful leader. Uh, our emperor, Hori, uh, Horihito, but the name is not given here. Our ruler, our big brother in another town, we can say, is our rightful leader. And yet what in reality has become of things? Power has been grasped from him by the businessmen and the politicians. Listen, or no, Japan is no longer a backward country of peasant farmers. We are a mighty nation. We are capable to do progress like Western nations. We need to, uh, we need to come together. In the Asian hemisphere, Japan stands like a giant amidst creepers and dwarfs. And yet we allow our people to grow more and more desperate. Our little children to die of malnutrition Meanwhile, the businessmen get richer and the politicians forever make excuses and chatter. Can you imagine any of the Western powers allowing such a situation? They would surely have taken action long ago. So he says that this is how he's en enraging eh, the artist to work for eh, uh, the, the nation and nationalism is enraged eh, in this. So that is a very interesting scene between uh, Matsuda and, eh, and uh, Masuji. Okay? Uh, then there is this scene uh, uh, on page 180, uh, on page 180, this scene. And this scene is between his teacher uh, and Masuji. His teacher and Masuji. The teacher is Seiji Muriyama, uh, Mary, uh, 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 Mori-san, uh, Mori the teacher. So a scene between them. Now when Seiji Muriyama, the teacher, uh, came to know that uh, Masuji is drawing different kind of painting. He is now not drawing about ukiyo, about that pleasure-seeking people, but he is now drawing about the poor people, and from poor people he is moving, drifting towards nationalism. So he was not happy. Huh? He, he wanted to tell him a couple of things. So uh, he, he explains and he says huh, that uh, this, at that time, at that time, Masuji, huh? Masuji tells uh, uh, tells to the teacher. Huh? He says. Uh, I, I have I have learned many things over these past years. I have learned much in contemplating the world of pleasure and uh, recognizing this fragile beauty. But I now feel, but now I feel it is time for me to progress to other things. I have studied under you eh, about fragile beauty, the beauty that lives only for a night. In the morning, there is no beauty. And you try to capture that beauty, that transient beauty, that floating beauty eh, in the painting. He says, now I am done with that. Now he says, I want to progress towards other things. Sensi, eh, he tells his teacher, Sensi, eh, Sensi. It is my belief that in such troubled times as this, troubled times as this, coming to this national spirits, artists must learn, uh, must learn to value something more tangible than those pleasurable things that disappear with the morning light. It is not necessary that artists always occupy a decadent and enclosed world. My conscience, Sensi, tells me I cannot remain forever an artist of the floating world. He says, tells the teacher that my conscience, Maro Antaratma, Mane Dunke, Mane Na Padeshe, I cannot remain forever an artist of the floating world. We are also getting a title here. He says, I don't want to remain an artist of the floating world. See, the title of the novel is An Artist of the Floating World. But this artist is drifting away, is drifting away from uh, being an artist of the floating uh, uh, world. So that is... Uh, The teacher warns him. Eh? The teacher is warning him that, well, these are troubled times. All you uh, and more, the young people like you should be more careful eh? in this more troubled times. You may be swayed away in, in, in such a kind of a wrong direction that you may have to you may have to suffer a lot in your later years. Eh? That, that warning he is giving. But teacher is not stopping him. That, okay, if you have decided 
then you can move on. Eh? But maybe you may have a great regret for making that choice. So in a younger days, Masuji Ono is going away from his teacher and he makes that, that conscious choice of moving towards first painting poor people and then war, eh? then war, battlefield and call for the war also. Last, I think, two scenes we will see very quickly, which are very important for thematic reading also. Yeah, this comes on in November 1949. In November 1949, chapter that is November 1949 and page 193, 193 and 194. This is the, the ending of November 1949. Last two paragraphs, last two, two three paragraphs here. Uh, this scene, this scene is between father and daughter, father and daughter, between Masuji and Setsuko, Setsuko, the married daughter. Now, obviously, both the daughters are married. Now, even Norika is married with the Saito family, Taro Saito. So, uh, daughter, now daughter tells here to father, that uh, uh, you must stop believing that you have done some great wrong. Well, now Setsuko, uh, uh, Masuji uh, tells, well, now Setsuko, this is very different advice from last year. This is very different. Sarvatma jare norika na lagna thaya na hota. Tiyare to to mana juda prakar ni advice apti hati. I should be very conscious about my past. Ave to kai juda prakar ni advice apti hati. Father says. Then it seemed my career was a great liability. Then last year to jare vaat karti tiyare tiyam lag to ke mei bau khraab kaam keru chhe. Good karma. Now see this is a very complex thing. Now it means whether what we are told, what we are told by Masuji that Setsuko was telling, Setsuko was warning that be careful about your past. Norika na lagna nahi thai, tamhe khyal rakh jo, dhyan rakh jo, tamara juna mitro ne, tamara juna vidyarthiyo ne, mari ne ke jo ke jasu so aave, tapas karwa to tamara avi se saru bole. Aje badi vaat Masuji apan ne karto hato. When he was telling to us, ye saachi vaat hati ke khoti vaat hati. ये खबर नहीं, we don't know। सत्सु को यहाँ ये तो ना पढ़े थे कि सत्सु को अभी कोई बात करी जी नहीं, पर मासूजी आपने ना हो बुद्ध क्या तो है? So we doubt, we start doubting this unreliable narrative. So what is right, what is wrong? We get confused in the in the narrative. So he says, forgive me, father. सत्सु को, सत्सु को says, forgive me, father. But I can only repeat, I do not understand these references to the marriage negotiations last year. Indeed, it is some mystery to me why father, that is your career, should have been of any particular relevance to the negotiations. Ke lagna na negotiations thata hata tiyare tamara career ne 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 soon lewa dewa. Koyat lewa dewa na thi ye ne. Ewu ke chi ho. Now see, we are at the end of the novel. Agla chapters ma avij vaat hao tiyati ke lagna ni vaat chale se nori ka na. अने आमनो पास्ट करियर अज़ पेंटर एक कदाच अमना संबंधों बगाड़े अगला लगन कदाच एटलेट टूटी गया हता लगन निवाद एटलेट टूटी गई हती कारण के अमना रिलेशंस सो दैट दैट इज़ नाउ नाउ शी टेल्स दिस आई थिंक आई हैव गोट द नेटवर्क हियर सो लेट मी देन कम बैक टू Let me come back to uh, this so where I can also share the screen which we are and we want to see. Okay, okay. so let me show this point, the father and daughter. And, and a very interesting part of that unreliable narrator which we are coming here. So negotiations of marriage. I'm quickly searching the word with control F button to go there. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, I'm sharing the screen. Okay, so we are on this uh, page here. Okay? Uh, forgive me, Father. This is what we are reading here. Okay? This part we are reading. See how uh, this 
So I says that uh, this references to the marriage negotiations last year. Indeed, it is some mystery to me why father's career, means your career, should have been of any particular relevance to the negotiations. The Saitos, the Saitos, it would seem, were certainly not concerned. And as we have said, they were very puzzled by father's behavior at the Miai. At the Miai, we have read that uh, that that topic where he says that, well, I am sorry, it was my mistake, my paintings, my teaching, for everything I am mistaken. So, uh, Doctor Saito, Taro Saito, they all were were confused. That why is he telling uh, all this thing? Why he is so apologetic? Why is he so apologetic? That is what uh, uh, everybody were worried. That is what. Setsuko tells here, this is quite astonishing, Setsuko. The situation was that Dr. Saito and I, I had been acquainted for a long time as one of the city's most eminent uh, art critics. Uh, he would have followed my career over the years and have been fully aware of its more regrettable aspects. It was therefore right and proper that I should make my attitude clear at that point in the proceedings. Indeed, I am quite confident, Dr. Saito, much appreciated my doing so. Daughter says, forgive me, but it would appear from what Taro San uh, uh, has said that Dr. Saito has, uh, Saito was never so familiar with your career. Of course, he always knew father as a neighbor, but it would seem he was unaware that father was connected with the art uh, world and uh, until this all negotiates. Now, this means, now if we believe this, it means that uh, Masuji was a painter, but he was not a very well known artist. But he thinks he was a well known artist. See that unreliability, how we are confused. Dr. Saito is not a very well artist. He is not a very well known artist. He is a very well known artist. So, so, he was to say that Masuji is an artist or not? He is not an artist or not? अपने एम कह चुके तमें मारु पेंटिंग जो ही हो से तमने मारा पेंटिंग नहीं ख्याल से the painting he titles this complacency eyes to the horizon एक आप बताएं वो क्या तमन पेंटिंग थे मारा इन्हें वो बहुत चर्चा थे पर वे यह doubt हुआ था daughter रज किया चाहो daughter किया चाहे के साइटो whether he really knew you or not so this this conversation is very confusing and then this chapter ends he says uh, 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 at the end, ha, here a new chapter begins here, June 1950. Here, here huh? Setsuko is not ready to agree that you, your painting or your career as a painting is a great career. Huh? That uh, uh, this, so so don't worry, don't tame tamara man upare wo bar na rakho. के तमारा पेंटिंग्स थी अपने बहन ना लगना था ता ना होता ये वो भारत में ना रखो क्योंकि तमर ये तमने पेंटर तरीके और साइटो तमने और रखता ना होता कि तमे आर्टिस्ट शो इसलिए चिंता ना कर नाउ सी दिस इज वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज़ मासूजी ने ए ए ए वाद के मारा पेंटिंग ने आलोको जानता नहीं थ मारी अटली बदी कला नहीं करियर अनेसु मने कोई और खता नथी ये एनो रंज बो मोटो था एनो रंज पर मोटो था आई एम गुड आर्टिस्ट आई एम ग्रेट आर्टिस्ट नाउ इफ समबडी टेल्स दैट वेल नोबडी न्यू यू एस एन आर्टिस्ट तो ये एनो दुख से ये पहला दुख करता है मोटो थे ही जाए सो मासूजी डू नॉट वांट साइटोज वे नॉट अवेयर दैट आई एम एन आर्टिस्ट अने हूँ क्या प्रकार ना पेंटिंग करतो हो तो एम नी अने जरा एक खबर है जिन्हों थी ये तो बहुत मोटो दुख ये ये वस्तु ये स्वीकार करवा तैयार था तो नहीं सो दिस चैप्टर एंड्स विद दिस दिस लाइंस दैट आई डिड नॉट परसिस्ट इन आर्ग्यूइंग विद सेट्सुको and I seem to recall, we soon moved on to discussing, discussing more casual topics. However, there is surely no doubt that my daughter was in error. That my daughter was in error over much of what she asserted that morning. For one thing, it is impossible that Dr. Saito could have been ignorant of my reputation as a painter for all those years. 
and when that evening after supper i contrived to get taro to confirm this i did so merely to make the point clear to satsuko for there was never any doubt in my mind i have for instance the most vivid recollection of that sunny day some 16 years ago when dr saito first addressed me as i stood adjusting the fence outside my new house and dr saito i remember what he said he said that a great honor to have an artist of your stature in our neighborhood he had said recognizing my name on the gate post i remember the meeting quite clearly there can be no doubt that satsuko is mistaken there can be no doubt that satsuko is mistaken well but we are confused whether satsuko is mistaken masuji is mistaken what is right we, there is great amount of confusion that do remain in this so that all converts this narration uh, in a very interesting way into what we call it as unreliable uh, narrator and whom to believe whom to believe satsuko ne vat kem apre mani sake apanne satsuko su ke che athwa dr saito e su kahi hotu e badu apanne kon ke che masu ji ke che apre to kyare dr saito ne malya j nahi apre satsuko ne pan malya nahi apre fakt masu ji ne j olkhiye che e j apanne varta ke che emni memory mathe तो जय कोई व्यक्ति वार्ता कहतु हो तरह ये हमेशा पोता जात ने एक सेफ साइड में मूकी ने पीछे बात करे हमेशा पोता ने सेफ साइड में मूकी ने पीछे ए बात करे इफ यू रिमेम्बर अनदर अनरिलायबल नेरेटर वेरी फेमस वन देट इज येन मार्टल्स लाइफ ऑफ पाय लाइफ ऑफ पाय फिल्म पर हेफ्स यू माइट हेव सीन लाइफ ऑफ पाय पीसीन पटेल एमन प्रोटेगोनिस्ट तो यूज के टाइगर साथ दिवस रहे जापान थी इंश्योरेंस कंपनी ना एजेंट हो जापानीज एजेंट आवी ने के के वेल दिस स्टोरी इज अनबिलीवेबल वी कैन बिलीव इन दिस स्टोरी पीपल विल मेक फन ऑफ अस हमें आउ रिपोर्टिंग कर सु के एक भाई टाइगर साथे रिया हता तो लोको हमारी मजा कुडा होसे तमे साची बात कियो के सु बणियो हतो तो नाउ किसिन पटेल इज टेलिंग अनदर स्टोरी एम के छे के पेलो उरांग उटांग नती ए मारा मम्मी हता पेलो जरक हतो है सेलर हतो पेलो बावरची हतो ए बदा माणसो होता कोई प्राणी नता ए बदाज माणसो होता आणि पछी आखी वार्ता नेरेट करे के दिस इज व्हाट हॅपेंड एंड दे किल्ड ईच अदर माय मदर आल्सो वाज किल्ड इन दैट दैट सीन जे हमें सर्वाइव थया आते में बदा मरी जाय छे पछी वार्ता पूरी थे तारे पेला लोको पूछे छे तो टाइगर कोण देन हु वाज द टाइगर नो आंसर टाइगर कोण तो के पिसिन पटेल पोते આપરે આપરી વાર્તામાં આપરે ટાઈગર જ હોય આપરે જ્યારે આપરી વાત કરીએ ત્યારે આપરે ટાઈગર જ હોય ને આપરે આપરી વાતમાં આપરે ક્યારે નીચા હોય ન હોય નોટ પોસિબલ સો ધેટ ઇઝ વી ઓલવેઝ ટેલ એની ઇન્સિડન્ટ ધેટ હેપન્સ ઇન आवर લાઈફ વી ઓલવેઝ નેરેટ વિથ आवर સેન્ટ્રાલિટી વિથ आवर સેન્ટ્રાલિટી ધેટ ઇઝ વોટ માસુજી ઇઝ ડુઈંગ હિયર ફ્રોમ હિઝ સેન્ટ્રાલિટી ઇઝ ટેલિંગ ધેટ અને જ્યારે વ્યક્તિ પોતાની વાત કોઈ પણ બિનામાં કોઈ પણ ઘટનામાં કરતા હોય ત્યારે હંમેશા અનરિલાયબલ હોય ત્યારે ક્યારેય તમે એ વાત માની ન શકો તમારે હંમેશા બીજી કોઈ વ્યક્તિને પૂછવું પડે કે શું બન્યું હતું એ ન પૂછો ત્યાં સુધી તમે સાચી વાત સુધી પહોંચી જ ન શકો કે આ ઘટના જે નેરેટર કહે છે અને પોતે એમાં ભાગ બનેલ છે ઘટનામાં એ હંમેશા અનરિલાયબલ હોય ધીસ ઇઝ અ વેરી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ લેસન ધેટ વી લર્ન ફ્રોમ ઓલ ધીસ અનરિલાયબલ નેરેટર્સ કારણ કે વાસ્તવિક જીવનમાં આવા બધા લોકો સાથે આપણે પનારો પડવાનો હોય છે આ બધા જ પ્રકારના લોકો સાથે આપણે જીવન જીવવાનું હોય અને નાની મોટી ઘટનામાં એ હંમેશા કહેતા રહેતા હોય છે કે આમ થયું તેમ થયું ત્યારે જો આપણે માની લઈએ આપણે માની લઈએ તો આપણે અબુદ્ધ છીએ ઇફ વી બિલીવ ઇન દેટ વી ઓલવેઝ પાર્ટલી બિલીવ ઇન દેટ એન્ડ વી કીપ ડાઉટ આપણે હંમેશા એક ડાઉટ રાખીએ કે હજી મારે વેરીફાય કરવું પડે એ એમ જ બન્યું હતું કે નહીં એ એમ ન ચાલે એ મારે બીજો પક્ષ પણ એનો જોવો જ પડે ઇફ યુ રીડ એની બડીઝ ઓટોબાયોગ્રાફી ઇફ યુ રીડ એની બડીઝ ઓટોબાયોગ્રાફી ઇમેજિન તમે મહાત્મા ગાંધીની સત્યના પ્રયોગો વાંચી રહ્યા છો અને એ એમાં એ વાત કરે કે એમણે બ્રહ્મચર્યના પ્રયોગો આ રીતે કરેલા હતા પણ એ બીજું એ નહીં લખે કે બીજા બધા લોકો એ બ્રહ્મચર્યના પ્રયોગોને કઈ રીતે જોતા હતા કઈ રીતે કેટલા બધા લોકો એમના બ્રહ્મચર્યના પ્રયોગોથી નારાજ હતા કેટલી બધી એની ટીકા થતી હતી એના આશ્રમમાં પણ ત્યાં ધ મેરીડ પીપલ વે નોટ અલાઉ ટુ લીવ ટુગેધર એન્ડ મહાત્મા ગાંધી વોઝ સ્લીપિંગ નેકેડ વિથ ટુ યંગ વિમેન 
એ પોતે કોઈ બે સ્ત્રીઓ સાથે નગ્ન સુવે અને પ્રયોગ કરે બ્રહ્મચર્ય ના અને બીજા લોકોને પરિણિત લોકોને પણ સાથે ન સુવા દે સો પીપલ વેર વેરી ક્રિટિક બટ યુ નેવર ગેટ ધોઝ થિંગ્સ ફ્રોમ ઓનલી વન રીડિંગ ઓફ વન સાઇડ બાયોગ્રાફિકલ ઓટો બાયોગ્રાફિકલ બટ પીપલ નીડ ટુ હેવ વેરિયસ પર્સ્પેક્ટિવ્સ ઓફ લુકિંગ અન બાયો ધીસ ઇઝ સમથિંગ વેરી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ ઇન ધીસ નેરેશન એન્ડ ધેન final uh, final uh, uh, discussion with uh, with matsuda uh, 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 last part uh, he uh, let me find this word final scene that we want to read and there is a word new japan yeah, new japan yeah. this is this very idea is very interesting yeah. this yeah this this very point of new japan and other thing now see uh, time and again we, you might have also read the new india huh? naya bharat huh? bharat ka uday ho raha hai naya bharat now uh, uh, so many times uh, history will tell ke nava koi political leader aave etle hamesa ek au swapnu ke lollipop laine aave ke naya bharat hum hum desh ko badal denge અબ મેરા દેશ બદલ રહા હે નયા ભારત કા ઉદય હો રહા હે આ બહુ જૂની આ દેશો દેશમાં થતી વાતો છે જ્યાં જ્યાં રાષ્ટ્રવાદ ને ભડકાવવાનો હોય અને લોકોને સાચા મુદ્દા થી ભટકાવવાના હોય ત્યારે હંમેશા આ લોલીપોપ બહુ કામ લાગે છે એ પછી જાપાન હોય એ પછી અમેરિકા હોય કે એ નહેરુ નું ઇન્ડિયા હોય ઇન્દિરા ગાંધી નું ઇન્ડિયા હોય કે પછી નરેન્દ્ર મોદી નું ઇન્ડિયા હોય બધી જ જગ્યાએ આ મંત્ર સરખું જ કામ કરે સરખું જ સમોહન એનું બધી જગ્યાએ ફેલાયેલું હોય છે કેમ્પેઇન ઓફ ડોનાલ્ડ ટ્રમ્પ વોઝ ઓલ્સો ધ સેમ દેટ લેટસ મેક અમેરિકા ગ્રેટ અગેન લેટસ મેક અમેરિકા ગ્રેટ અગેન દેટ વોઝ હિઝ કેમ્પ સો વોટ વોટ દીડ ઓબામા ડીડ ધ પ્રીવિયસ પ્રેસિડેન્ટ વોઝ ઓબામા બેક ઓબામા સો વોઝ હી નોટ મેકિંગ અમેરિકા ગ્રેટ દેટ યુ હેવ ટુ મેક ઇટ ગ્રેટ અગેન so that is how always the political language eh, is always deceptive language manipulative language so here eh, this two figure uh, the last scene that we want to discuss here uh, this is uh, dying matsuda eh? matsuda who 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 matsuda who, who is this character who diverted this artist masuji from being an artist of the floating world towards the poverty stricken people of japan first and then towards imperialism then towards nationalism that is that person old fellow and then they both are now talking here so now see here he says that i am glad to hear you are repainting again in any case when you last came to see me you seem to have given up painting for good you were very disillusioned then he says no doubt i was masuji says i didn't touch paints for a long time matsuda says yes oh no you seemed very disillusioned then he looked up at me with a smile and said and said but of course but then of course you wanted so badly to make a grand contribution par tyare to tare bahut motu grand contribution karu hot દેશના ડેવલપમેન્ટમાં તારે જાતને કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુટ કરવું હતું આઈ રિટર્ન હિઝ સ્માઇલ સેઇંગ બટ સો ડીડ યુ માતસુદા યોર ગોલ્સ વેર નો લેસ ગ્રાન્ડ આઈ આઈ વોઝ યુ ઇટ વોઝ યુ આફ્ટર ઓલ હુ કમ્પોઝ ડેટ મેનિફેસ્ટો ફોર અવર અવર ચાઈના ક્રાઇસિસ કેમ્પેઇન ધ બેટલ ઓફ ઓફ જાપેન વિથ ચાઈના દેટ ધોઝ વેર હાર્ડલી ધ મોસ્ટ મોડેસ્ટ ઓફ એસ્પિરેશન્સ we both laughed again then he said no doubt you will remember oh no how i used to call you huh? call you na he says uh, how i used to tease you for your narrow artist's perspective you used to get so angry with me well it seemed in the end neither of us a uh, very important line it seems in the end mrutyu na samaye have be dosao betha ch je yuani na divso ma ek desh daj hati એક રાષ્ટ્ર ભક્તિની ભાવના હતી નેશનાલિઝમ અને યુદ્ધ એ બધું એનો ભાગ બનતો હોય છે નેશનાલિઝમનો ભાગ યુદ્ધખોરી 
એટલે જ વારંવાર હવે લોકોને એવું કહેવું પડે છે કે યુદ્ધ કરીને જ દેશની સેવા ન થાય તમે કન્સ્ટ્રક્ટિવલી કંઈક બનાવો તો એ દેશની સેવા કરો છો તમે ક્રિએટિવ વર્કમાં જોડાયા હો તો પણ દેશની સેવા થતી જ હોય છે જરૂરી નથી કે દેશ માટે મરવું જ પડે જીવીને પણ દેશની સેવા થઈ શકે યુ કેન ઓલ્સો દેટ ઇઝ નેસેસરી બિકોઝ હિસ્ટ્રી હેઝ ટોલ દેટ લોકોને એમને જ અભરખા જાગશે કે હું દેશ માટે કંઈક કરી દઉં દેશ માટે હું બલિદાન આપી દઉં એમ ઘણા યુવાનો એકદમ તડપતા હોય છે કે મારે દેશ માટે કંઈક કરવું છે દેશ માટે બલિદાન આપવું છે એમ કરતા કરતા એ બીજાના બલિદાન લેવા પણ માંડે પાછું એ બીજાને મારવાનું શરૂ કરે કે આ દેશ માટે થઈ રહ્યું છે એટલે લોકોને કહેવું પડે કે નો યુ મે બી મેકિંગ અ મિસ્ટેક ઇન ધ નેમ ઓફ કન્ટ્રી ઇન ધ નેમ ઓફ નેશન યુ મે બી કમિટિંગ દેટ ઇઝ વોટ ધીસ ટુ ઓલ્ડ પીપલ હી આર રિગ્રેટિંગ હિયર so he said that uh, well it's it seems in the end neither of us had a broad enough view we are not able to see the things in complete way i suppose that's right but if we had seen things a little more clearly then uh, then th- then the likes of you and me matsuda who knows we may have done some real good we had much energy and courage once indeed we must have had plenty of both to conduct something like the new japan campaign you remember indeed there were some powerful forces set against us we might easily have lost our nerve i suppose we must have been very determined eh, also so this is what eh, this uh, last way eh, he says that uh, our 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 vision he says here eh, that but then I, i i for never saw things too clearly a narrow artist perspective as you say why even now i find it hard to think of the world extending much beyond the city so and matsuda also says that my world is just be, uh, beyond uh, my, uh, just towards my garden only i can't see the things beyond my garden also so this is this this last discussion uh, between these characters Uh, which which obviously uh, tells that how how people can have a larger perspective uh, how people can see the things in totality uh, uh, artists are supposed to have have uh, a much better way of looking at the world and from where does it come uh, as ts eliot uh, has very rightly said it comes from historical sense if artist has seen uh, the world the history of human being if they have read the 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 stories about the battlefields eh, about the world wars and many other thing then perhaps they come to know that what is happening today eh, if something is going on today what will be the direction that this today will take when it will become tomorrow and it, whatever stance you take today will you regret about it tomorrow like this two two old people are regretting the way masuji is regretting so out of good noble intention uh yukio naguchi huh, the, uh, the the singer huh, the singer was composing patriotic songs and so many people singing the songs were going to battlefield and dying there was there were this managers huh, of uh, company owners company managers also who also were motivating people to be a part of that there were artists like masuji ono there were uh, matsuda kind of people but it seems huh, that they all were mistaken they all were mistaken because they perhaps were not not having that historical sense that if any country that goes for war and if they think of killing people and dying is the best way of doing the things nationalism is something seen in this way then it always leads to a kind of a debacle and debacle of of an individual as well as of a nation also vyaktigat pan khub j vasvaso re ane ej rite aakha rashtra e pan ena mate khub j sahan karu pade ane kadaj enu parinam agar jata e aave ke તમારી સંસ્કૃતિ જેપેનીઝ સંસ્કૃતિ જેપેનીઝ કલ્ચર એ બધું જ વેસ્ટર્નાઇઝ થઈ જાય બધું જ અમેરિકનાઇઝ થઈ જાય આટલી મોટી કિંમત કદાચ આ પેઢી ઓગણીસો ત્રીસમાં રહેતી પેઢીના રાષ્ટ્રભાવના અને રાષ્ટ્રભક્તિ એ જાપાનને આપ્યું કે બીજા વર્ષ વિશ્વ યુદ્ધ પછી આખું જાપાન વેસ્ટર્નાઇઝ થઈ જાય અમેરિકનાઇઝ થઈ જાય તો આટલી મોટું પરિવર્તન આટલું મોટું ચેન્જ જે આવે તો એના માટે કઈ રીતે એક આખી પેઢી જવાબદાર હોઈ શકે કઈ રીતે વન જનરેશન કેન બી રિસ્પોન્સિબલ ફોર ધીસ એન્ડ વાય દેટ હેપન બિકોઝ યુ સપોર્ટેડ ઇમ્પીરિયાલિઝમ બિકોઝ યુ સપોર્ટેડ પેટ્રિયોટિઝમ ઓર 
nationalism uh, that are some of uh, some of the very interesting reasons for uh, the fall of nations and fall of people also uh. so that was some some interesting part to read from the novel where we find uh, that what kazuo ishiguro really wanted to say by this artist of a floating world and how the right this uh, narrator remains unreliable throughout the story uh, how it becomes very difficult for us to believe in whatever he is telling to uh, us here any questions uh, if you have any questions in your mind to discuss or to raise any point then you can ask a question uh, otherwise we go for a small break before we come to have a final uh, session on thematic concerns uh, in this uh, novel anybody any questions to be asked then you can uh, raise your question doubt something that you want for still better understanding of the novel then also you can ask okay then we are uh, we are going for a small break and we are meeting after 15 minutes 15 minutes.